Hello. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to desaturate the image and create our for the project. But um, before we begin, I just wanted to quickly show you how to. Um, you hit Command Plus or Control Plus if you're on, and Control Minus to back up if you're on a PC or Mac. Um, and in here, in this case, I want to just clean up his skin a little bit. Um, the layer was locked, so I unlocked it. Let me just lock it again. Let's see, I'm gonna just revert the image. So you can see how you, you start off like this and you wanna unlock a layer, you just double click it with your mouse and it unlocks. And then in here, um, I need the Band-Aid tool, the healing tool, and it wasn't showing up, so I had to go in here and find it. It's the healing brush tool, it looks like a Band-Aid. Then you zoom in, Command Plus, find a blemish, and you wanna pick the pixels of the skin that you want, the good skin. So like here's some good skin that's about the same light as right here. And you hit Alt or Option and mouse at the time, same time and then just mouse. So you kind of do that a couple of times. And then like we can do over here and this, and you, you can just do it really fast. So Alt and mouse at the same time. Alt and mouse at the same time, then just the mouse. Let me try that again. Option, mouse, mouse. It's a little tricky doing that right off the bat, but it really makes a difference. It's a huge, it's, it's really nice to be able to just clean up something because with these great pixel cameras nowadays, you can see every pore. And we just all appreciate that this works for getting rid of something in your teeth, anything, a hair, you know, anything that you want to remove, watch. And it's just like kind of mixing the pixels together. It kind of just makes it, it just makes it a little um, less, just a little less. So there we go. So, um, and generally we can do it on its own layer so you can kind of see before and after, but that's fine. And now what I wanted to do was go up to image adjustment, hue saturation. And we're going to bring it down like 50%. So we're bringing down the saturation. So you can go down to like right here. We're trying to kind of copy um, that style of that photographer that we like. And then we're going to duplicate the layer. We're going to make this one black and white image adjustment, black and white. And this background, there's not a whole lot of color anyway, but we're gonna erase all the stuff that's him. We're gonna just keep just his skin and his hair and his eyes, his neck, and not his clothes. And then it's gonna be in the style of that photographer that we're trying to kind of copy. And then so I would take two pictures. I would take a picture of Justin like this, and then I would make him put a mask on and I would show, you know, kind of like the times we're living in now with a person with a mask and then what they look like underneath the mask. So whatever expression you like that you want to show them, whether they're smiling with their mask on and then smiling without their mask, we're gonna do both just to show them, just for, just to kind of see where we're at, like just to kind of, cause that's kind of a big thing right now is, is what's happening. We're not used to this. We've got this whole COVID thing. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of photograph that. Do we have anything else? Look, it's just that. So let's back up. Does that look like that photographer? The only thing that's different is that I think he needs to be cropped because um, most of the pictures, the other photographer, let's see if we do like an eight by 10. Is it, everything's crops like right above their chest, but there's enough, um, something like this, I think is how they crop it. There's enough around the sides. Maybe we even do it this way. Like I should have probably photographed it more like this. So there should be enough above and on the sides to show the environment. I think that's the way that those photos are cropped. 
And I think that's about it. Um, you just want to make sure that it looks natural around the hair here. And maybe, maybe you just do a little bit, um, change your opacity just a little so it's not so extreme, just so that the background color comes through just a tiny bit. See that? I brought the opacity to 76, and I think that's good. It makes it a little bit see-through right here, but otherwise I feel like it was too stark of a difference. See? Now watch. That's a lot. Like, that's the pure color underneath. You can see the, this blue, but even the background is almost like black and white that way. But I think that that looks better. Let's see the opacity here makes it see through. Yeah. And then you save it as a JPEG file. Save as. And you, um, it's save as for change the format to JPEG. Um, just an example. This is the desaturation. Um, it's export as if you're doing it on a Chromebook and Cameo. All right.